Question 10. We are given 3,780 in terms of its prime factors. We are given 3,240 in terms of its prime factors. And part A is asking us for the highest common factor of those two numbers. So there's two ways of doing this. The first method involves what loses out of each of the prime factors. So we're looking for the smallest two, the smallest three, the smallest five, and the smallest seven. 2 squared is the smallest 2, so 2 squared would go there. 3 cubed is the smallest 3 in comparison to 3 to the power of 4. And we have a single 5, so in this case either of them would be used in terms of what loses. And there are no 7s here, which means we do not have any 7s there. What that's going to do is that's going to give us the highest common factor of 540. Another way which we could set this up is as a Venn diagram where we substitute into this Venn diagram all of the prime factors, as you see above. I'm going to use powers here just to... Actually, no, I won't use powers. Um, all of the twos, they have two twos in common, and then 3,240 has one spare. We're going to have three threes in common, but 3,240 is going to have one spare again. We have a five each, which means that's going to go in the overlap and we have a seven spare in 3,780 like so. In order to find out our highest common factor, we then take all of the overlap multiplied together, which gives us exactly the same sum as that, giving us a highest common factor of 540. Part B, find the lowest common multiple of those two numbers. Well, when we're looking for the lowest common multiple, we're looking for what wins out of the factors of 2, 3, 5, and 7. So in this case, instead of 2 squared, it will be 2 cubed, because that's the largest 2 here. We will have a 3 to the power 4, because that's the largest 3 there. They both have a 5, so whilst they both lost here, they both win. It's the same answer for either of them. And the biggest 7 we have is a times 7, like so. All of those multiplied together is going to give us an answer of 22,680. And that's if we use the what wins method. If we have our Venn diagram, which is drawn above already, in order to find the lowest common multiple, we take every single digit in there multiplied together, which if we have a wee look, we have our three twos, they're all shown in red. We have our four threes, they're all shown in blue. We have a single 5 and we have a single 7 and that, again, will give us a lowest common multiple of 22,680.